unknown transforming robot. It's probably shit, but if I just bet a quid, it really won't matter. <laughs> a good evening, ladies and gentlemen, right here, back for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. I don't often review Fusors. Mm. I, I, I would do a lot of Beast Wars. I, I like my Beast Era. Excuse me. Beast Era is always what I mean. Um, but not not often Fusors. And I've had to think about this. I'm doing a Fusor today. Um, I think while the Beast Era has an awful lot to offer this Transformers reviewer anyway. I know a lot of people just can't do the Beast Era. Um, they, they just can't do Beast Era. It's just the, the, the idea of robots turning into... You know, animals and beasts seems a little ludicrous. But the actual premise of Transformers, transforming, big robots are transforming into anything, is ludicrous. So, you know, I can get behind one, I can get behind another. I'm least interested in the cars. I'm, I'm forever saying that. I'm forever saying that. I have stopped collecting movies. I haven't bought any other movie toys in the longest time. I'm contenting myself with finishing all my, my universe line and my beast machines and trying to break that i've broken the back of my beast wars 2 stuff but just to really get a lot more of those i really like those oh um oh look there's a little harrier hook is it i think nice little thing you see lots of buzzards and stuff wheeling all about the place nice like that very nice oh it's a pretty thing anyway so <clears throat> fusors yes i like fusors uh yeah you know Beast era, I'm mad about. I'm mad about my beast era stuff, but there are some of them that I'm kind of less crazy about. It's not that I'm less crazy about the fusors, but among the fusors, the 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 line themselves uh, selves are it, it's not a it's not a vast line, you know. It numbers about some of these about a dozen in all, and um, some of them are generally quite small, and I tend to be less inclined to go to the small ones. Um, Look, that's one of the deluxe. Was it deluxe? Look at the size of that. He's fucking ugly, isn't he? Um, so out of them, who do I like especially? Um, I like Magmatron, obviously, and Silverbolt and Tigerhawk, and they're kind of all the slightly larger ones. Yeah, they are the larger ones. The rest of them are kind of small. You've got Airhammer, who's small, Bantor, Buzzclaw, Nocturo, Quick Strike. He's Nice. He gets a lot of airtime as well, which is cool. Sky Shadow weighs on. Um, Tiger Hawk, Torka. There are a few others, aren't there? I think there might be a few others. Can I think of any others? Anyway, I'll go. I'll be sitting here all day trying to think of those other ones. Ba 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 ba. So um, let me give you a little bit of BG on this guy. Not enough to do you any harm. So Fusors, Fusor. Yes, to Fusors. But yes to Beast Era first. Fusors, yes. But Beast Era, yes. You know that kind of way. <clears throat> so, ah, this is the other thing about Injector. Injector, it's such a suggestive name. And his bio is really suggestive as well. This is the only Injector that I can find in the Transformers universe. Now, a long time ago, I've, I, I mentioned... I, I, you know, now and again, you get a bot, and sometimes there's only one mold of it, and that makes it unique. It might have a couple of different iterations of the name of the character, but I think there's only one iteration of the character Injector. There's two iterations of the mold. The Japanese one is called Ratorata. Ratorata. Something like that. Ratorata. Oh, it's not easy to say. Ratorata. Whoa, that's not easy to say. But I think there's only one injector in the Transformers universe. Let me know. Because Nick Feely, you know such things. Allegiance, Predacon, obviously. Beast Wars, Fusor. He's got a face only a Predacon could love, but according to Injector, the vainest of the Predacons, he is the best thing to happen since Energon fused into two beasts. Half fish, lionfish, half hornet. Half lionfish, half hornet. He is as dangerous as it gets. He is armed with a massive stinger. Oh, and thrusting spines. Oh, that inject his victims. Oh, filthy. With a paralyzing poison. 
In robot mode, wields a devastating stinger missile. Charismatic, clever, and evil to the core, Injector represents one of the Maximal's greatest threats. Is he indeed? He's one of the Maximal's greatest threats. Let's have a look at them. He's also one of their ugliest threats. Half lionfish, half hornet. He obviously is. Oh god, I, I love Transformers. Look at the state of that. It's just fucking ugly. Now, he's big for a deluxe. This is what the modern day would call a Voyager size, almost. Or that intermediate size, which doesn't actually exist. What would that be? Deluxe and Voyager. A Doyager. <laughs> a Velux. That's what I, oh, that was the thing. That was the word. Velux. He's a Velux to me. So, Lionfish indeed. Hornet. Massive Stinger. And he's only got four legs, unfortunately. Obviously, uh, one of them... He was reabsorbed during the fusion process because the hornet, as uh, as an insect, has six legs. Whatever. It's half lionfish, half hornet, and all robot. He can do whatever he likes. He can shit biscuits, as far as I'm concerned. Like this thing because it's one of the ugliest of the lot. You know... I'll, some some of them might say that this is a beautiful looking thing. It's not because he's just got an evil grimace. Um, the rest of him is full of holes, as you can see. There's lots and lots of space going on here, but it doesn't detract from the fact that it's as it's just batshit crazy. He's as mad. He's as mad as a dyspeptic piano. Whatever, take out to the bank. Just like this thing, and he can do what, what what I love. This always always works for me. He's got the uh, skeletor, almost. Uh no, I can't do the <laughs> he man because his uh, mouth doesn't move so quickly. It would be ill. <laughs> no, too slow. Got this nice big horn here. He's got these fins. Now he has a little gimmick in this mode, which I can show you. But I think it works better in the bot mode. But sure, I'll show it to you. Seeing as how it's a Tuesday. Um, what you do, what you gotta do, is you lift up this little head thing like that, and this, this spines flick forward, oh, come on, lift up your arse woman about, there we go, you do that, you lift it up, and you see the spines, this, this is the thrusting spine action, so it does this kind of thing, which is quite nice, isn't it, but when you look at it, you see his head almost pretty much detaches from his body, so, so, I don't really do that. I don't do that a lot. Well, I say I don't do that, but when do I not do that? When I'm playing with them? When I'm making them, they go... Pew, 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 pew. I'm going to get you, Maximal. I don't do that. So, it's fine to do that, in which case. Nice, easy little trans... Uh, the transformation is a piece of peace water. Look, this is going to come out. This is going to form a... You see, his massive stinger missile. Let's just hope that nothing pops out too much there. Ooh, sounded rude. Uh, oh, you're so very nice to me about saying uh, nice things about the music. Yeah, the stuff's going to be available soon. When I have the time for of a whole day or a whole couple of days to just re-record vocals and stuff like that for Unknown Transforming Robot and Get Your Freaking Robot and other stuff that's working through as well. I mean, I've got my recording equipment here, but it's a pain in the ass because I have to set it all up and take it all down so I don't do it a lot. There's a lot of it. Now, look at this, having said that shit, watch this bad boy. You finish what you gotta do. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just like saying that. I watched a um, clip, what was it, on YouTube, about, is it some CNN reporter having a stroke, and she's not actually having a stroke, and her name is Serene something, and it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen, because uh, I think two words are legible. The rest are all, you know, Darren Bertie, or I, I, I should put a link to it, if only I knew how to do that. It's the funniest thing. You probably all have seen it. Shut up and get on with the transformation. There we go. He's got these claws things, which you can give him this really odd high heel thing. You see the lights going down there, boys. And um, <clears throat> arms are, yeah, yes, I have to marvel at his fist. Is uh, I find his little fist quite comical. What do you do with these legs? I just it's just damage limitation for these legs at the back, you know. Not not so much kibble, not so much kibble. You want to see head reveal? Look at this for head reveal. Okay, watch this. This is cool. You gotta grab not only his bottom teeth but his top teeth and pull down his ugly. He is 
freaking ugly. Look at that there, chap. Oh god, he's so. Look at him. He's. Uh, you know what he looks like? He looks like a muppet. He, he looks like a bona fide, genuine, one hundred percent muppet. You know, not the kind of muppet you would call someone who's a bit of a dick, but he actually looks like a muppet. Oh, he's freaking. Oh, he's fantastic. It's just ugly. Really, really ugly. His head's too big, his arms are too long, his fists are just too dainty. Look at his tiny little lady fists. They, they get the, the fist of a, of a seven-year-old girl, the oddest things. These crazy big legs. And then, of course, he's got this weapon, uh, which goes in. Does it go into his hand even? I don't even know. There you go. It's this, right? And, of course, the missile fires. But you can put it into his hand and... You give him, I suppose he becomes a bit like a shockwave or Megatron gun cannon arm thing. I'll just take that out because he's spindly. Um, he's really, really ugly. But if you love Beast Wars and you have him, then you'll be delighted. Because no Beast Wars collection is complete without this ugly mofo. Because that's what he is. Um, he stands pretty good. Unbelievably. Oh, look, I can put these forward and cover. See the wings like that. And, um, yeah, he's he's badly designed. He's wonderfully designed. He looks shit. He looks great. He's not posable. He's wonderfully posable. Pick one. It doesn't really matter. And you can give him this silly head thing going on here again. Where we push that down. Oh, yes, that. I'm just noticing what you do is you push this little thing down and his head just pops forward straight away. And exactly what is he doing here? I don't know what he's doing there. Why would he want to do that? He's thrusting his spines, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him thrusting his spines, the dirty idiot. Just love it. It's a pity his head doesn't come back a little bit further, but it doesn't come back a little bit further. It's constantly inclined. He must have the most awful back pain. Oh, he's so ugly. Injector from the Fusors. Get him if you like shitty, ugly, wonderful, marvellous, beautiful bots. Just if you have Beast Era stuff and you're an avid Beast Era collector, you've already got him. Get him if you want to display him and scare your cat, because that's what I do. Love him. He's fantastic and shit. Now that's what...